knowing how to solo and when to solo are some of the basic building blocks of a great mix. And thankfully, Mixbus has a lot of great options when it comes to these features. If you hover your mouse over the solo button on each channel or bus, you can see a tooltip appear. So first of all, if we just press the solo button, it's gonna implicitly mute all the other channels. And I can go through here and solo as many as I want. And an easy way to unsolo all these at one time, as we see here from the tooltip, is command shift click or shift control click for a PC. If you happen to have multiple tracks in a group, then holding down shift while clicking on the solo button will momentarily override that group. The exclusive solo is an option you can find in the monitoring section, but there's a simple key command for this, which is control command click. And what this does is you're able to click on each solo button while unsoloing a previously solo channel. Now, if you have a middle wheel on your mouse, you can use that wheel to momentarily solo a track. But for everybody else, you can hold down command click on Mac or control click on PC. And as you can see, the track stays soloed as long as I keep the mouse click down. But when I release, it unsolos. So that's all the things you can do by holding a modifier on the solo button. But you can also right click on the solo button and find other options. So the first one is solo isolate. Now for a quick example, I recorded a few guitar parts and I want to compare the tone to guitar tracks versus the main track that's panned hard left. So I'm gonna right click on the drums and choose solo isolate. Do the same for the bass and the same for the main left panned guitar. And now I'm gonna use the exclusive solo to listen to the difference in tone between these two guitar parts. So for example, I have the drums sent to Mixbus 1 and I have a reverb on Mixbus 12. But as you can see, if I solo Mixbus 1, it also mutes all the other buses. So at this point, we're not gonna hear any reverb. Okay, but if I solo isolate Mixbus 12, you can see the yellow box around the mute button is not there, which means it can't be muted. Also, I have the keyboard sound going to the reverb. And if I choose exclusive solo, you can see it solos the keys, but it also mutes the drums. And I won't hear the drums through the reverb because that drum bus is now muted. And lastly, there might be situations where you don't want a track to be unsoloed from its soloed state. So for that option, let's just go ahead and solo the drums and then choose solo safe. So now I can compare other buses to the solo drums without the drums turning off. And once again, I'll use the exclusive solo for this. So as you can see there, I did a quick balance by comparing other tracks to the drums, and then I brought down some levels. So it might be a good way to dial in your mix by choosing different solo options. Hey, thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and click the bell down below. I am Nathan from Harrison Consoles, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.